I love several different aspects of my job, um, I, and I frankly wear several hats for my job. On, on one hat, I wear uh, the hat of a uh, practicing clinician, so I'm a heart rhythm specialist. I deal with uh, procedure-based um, treatment for various heart rhythm disturbances, and I love that. It, it's, it's exciting. It's, uh, it's never exactly the same each day. You never quite know what you're going to find, and so there is a, a measure of discovery just with that. A heart is such a random object, but something as complex as the human heart doesn't really have any shape or any logic associated that we can mathematically model with primitives. I guess the first eureka moment, I guess, was when I created the three-dimensional file. So you could spin it around, you could look at it in all views, add or, or remove any chamber that you didn't want to look at. Even in the very earliest rudimentary files, it was uh, just such uh, disruptive technology. It was a, suddenly a way to uh, look at uh, the uh, internal organs without having to open someone up. And frankly, even if you open someone up, uh, it's not the same. It, it doesn't look the same. Dr. Horton and I and Dr. Beeman came together on this project to figure out a way to make uh, additive manufactured models of the heart from direct scans, which are CT scans of patients. When I saw it for the first time, it, it suddenly resonated as a way of uh, recreating uh, three-dimensional images accurately without opening up the patient's chest. And so having this type of uh, three-dimensional mapping and uh, um, uh, printing of an actual um, heart of that particular patient is, is invaluable in speeding up and, and improving safety and efficacy on the procedure. What Stratasys has done for us is just the fastest turnaround time. You know, when the doctors here are working with a particular patient that needs to have surgery three days from now, and they would like to look at a model of the patient's heart before they even do anything, uh, timing is critical. You know, it's not something that you say, yeah, it may show up on Thursday and it ends up coming up the following Monday. This won't work in this industry. Not only has it made it, uh, my work with patients better and my, my clinical practice better, but it has uh, opened up the opportunity for improving on medical devices themselves, coming up with applications you wouldn't have otherwise thought of because you can spin the model around in your, in your hand and see connections and geometric orientations that you wouldn't have recognized before. Having something like this uh, speeds up the understanding of the anatomy, understanding of the uh, 3D spatial geometry of fairly complicated structures. So uh, this could be helpful from a, a surgical standpoint. If a surgeon needs to repair something, they have this in their hand before they open up the chest. So it's enormously valuable from that standpoint as well.